welcome to episode 4 of season 1 of the Staines Massive Diffuse Challenge using the plug and play tactic. We are at Staines Town in the Conference South and we're heading to the turn of the year and we are doing fantastically well and today is a top of the table clash between ourselves and Hereford. Um, things are beginning to change. Um, most games so far this season it's been Staines that are facing a difficult challenge as we head into games. Now, based on our form and our league position, things have changed. We're now sitting top of the league. We're top of the league with some fantastic results. Um, the last time you saw me, we beat Billericay at home and we unfortunately lost away to Coventry in a game we never thought we were going to win anyway. Since then, there's been the one defeat to pull away from home. I had a player sent off in that game. Um, the FA Trophy, we're progressing well. We beat Ramsgate 4-0. We drew away at Hemel, but we beat them at home. We went to extra time that particular game and took a lot out of my players. Um, so Dartford, the Dartford game, the last game that we've played, I didn't think we were going to get much out of that. I was happy with a draw with that. I had players that were on about 80% fitness. We beat them 4-1, which, which took us top of the league. And as you can see, the very first game of the season, we got beat at Dartford 4-2. So it's nice to extract a little bit of revenge in the Vanarama. And as you can see now, we're sitting top of the league after 21 games. We've got a game in hand on Hereford. If we can beat them today, we'll extend that to three points. And obviously, if we win our game in hand, hopefully that'll take us to six. The squad itself have been doing excellent of late. Um, Transfer-wise, there is one other signing that I've made since uh, the last player that came in. Sylvan Ebanks-Blake. Do you remember him? Um, he's a bit of a journeyman striker. We know him for his time um, at United, then on loan. But then, obviously, for playing for Wolves, he's come in on a free transfer and he scored one goal in two appearances. He's just as, as a backup player. Um, interestingly enough, when I signed him, um, Elliot Buchanan was a little bit worried about his position, but I've told him there's nothing to worry about. He's still on fire this season. In all competitions, 19 goals in 24 games. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're going to head into the game. Uh, it's top of the table clash. We need to win this game, and if we can win the game, then we will be three points clear at the top of the league. So here we go then. I'm going to start with Grandeur in goal with Keane, Ford and Quarter as my back three. Warsfold and Sesson Young as my wing backs. Brown as the ball winning midfielder. Hatton as the box to box. There's been a switch up with those two positions. Hatton seems to be doing quite well. Brown got an 8.5 rating in the last game as a ball winning midfielder. Up front is the usual Buchanan, Hippolyte, and Barnard. Here we go into the game. This is a big, big game. Need three important points. Hopefully, we can get them. Here we go. Need a good start here. If we can get an early goal, that would be nice. Put a bit of pressure on Hereford then to come out and play. This is looks good already. Warsfar with a cross. Beats everyone. It's too far. Hatton, we're still dominating here. We're still keeping the pressure up. Warsfold. No, they deal with it. Good early pressure though. 30 seconds in, it's good. Just need to keep an eye on Hatton's fitness. He he plays as the box to box and he was doing well in the last game, but his fitness was dropping severely in the second half so I had to substitute him ok Hereford with the attack can we deal with it yes we can oh they've hit the crossbar riding our luck we don't mind that this is a massive game be interesting to see how many of the massive have travelled 12 minutes in register our first shot on target Okay, Wars fell back to Grand York. Can he do? He clears it out wide to nobody. Okay, Ford picks it up. Hippolyte, can we break on the counter? Wars fold. Who's a big influence down that left hand side? Brown to Hatton and loses the ball. And we're under pressure straight away. Freeman, good save by Granger. That was disappointing from Hat from Hatton. He's given away, given the ball away there. Put us under pressure. I'm trying to get my I'm a bit tongue twisted this morning. Okay, can we force him wide? Yes, we have, we've won the ball, won the challenge, well done. Oh, we give away a free kick, never mind. Okay, 17 minutes in, we're beginning to pick up two shots now. Players seem to be doing okay, quarters booked. 
Possession wise, Hereford are dominating, being the home team. That's, that's to be expected. Remember, this is first against second, so it's always going to be a bit of a close, tight encounter. We're up to three shots on target now, out of three attempts. Sessignon and Quarter are booked. Seven fouls this half. Not much happening at the moment. What's this? What are we going to do with this? Well done. We've got the header away. Okay, they've picked up the second ball. Keen to Brown. And what can Brown do with it? Barnard. Over the top to Buchanan. What can Buchanan do? Gets to the byline. Oh, the defender. Off the defender against the post. That was a bit unlucky. Needs to beat the first man there and find the man in the middle. Okay, half time. Not too bad. Could be much better. 49% possession, only three shots so far. Um, Quarters lost possession more than any other player in this half. We need to keep an eye on him. At the minute, Hippolyte's not doing much up front. Not much from Barnard. As you can see, the races are 6.3 and 6.4 at the minute. So I've got Ebanks Blake as an advanced forward who can come on. Oh, Ford got away with that one. Nearly got caught. Our possession is beginning to pick up a little bit. Got another book in. Hippolyte's not having a good game at the minute. He's on 6.3. They've had six, six attempts, three on target. It's a bit of a stalemate at the minute. Do I want to change it now? Okay, Freeman. They're on the counter. Richards, can we deal with this? Yep, yeah, no problem. We take that all day long. Okay, let's make some changes to the team. Up front especially because we look a bit toothless. Claydon who's on loan. He'll come in and he'll be the poacher. Ebanks Blake is going to come on for... Hmm. He's going to come on for Buchanan. I'm going to make that decision. He won't be happy but I'm going to make that. And I'm going to put Miller Rodney on for Hatton who's on 70%, 6.8. But he's a bit leggy. Let's see if these three changes can change the game. We get swing in our favour. We're down to 45% possession. We could do with a go on the counter here. Or just to not concede. Okay, they've got an attack. Can we deal with the cross? Can we deal with the... No, but the goalkeeper did well. There's 3,000 watching this game today, which is good attendance. I think 200 of the massive, they've travelled. Expecting a big performance. Can we give it to them? Doesn't look like it at the minute. Seven minutes to go. We'll take a point. Quite happily. Oh, we're on the attack. What can we do here? Walls fell to Brown. Miller Rodney! And there's the goal on the counter. Excellent, excellent move. He's in loads of space. Lampard-esque. Steps up, late run, into the box, makes it count. 1-0, the massive go crazy, all 200 of them. That's what you call a mugging, as the Lujo would say on his YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out, the Lujo. Does some fantastic videos on there, good series, non-league to legend. Back in the borough, make sure you watch them. Okay, we're literally up to end of time. That's it, and we've nicked a 1-0 win away. That's a fantastic result. It puts us three points clear at the top of the league as we move forward to the next game. There you go. So we've, we've got a game in hand. We're three points clear. We've got the best goal difference in the league. That's a great result. Let's move forward to the next game. Okay, so now we face Chelmsford in the next game of this episode. And with the overwhelming favourites with uh, one to three on, or three to one, whatever that is. I think it's one to three. Um, I don't know that sort of stuff. Um, they've got two players out. Um, which is key. We, we've got a fully fit squad to choose from. Okay, so I'm not going to make any changes to the team. I'm going to keep the team as it was, which is a little bit hard on certain people, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to see how we are. So again, we go with Granger, Keane, Ford and Quarter, Warsfold, Sessignon, Brown and Hatton in the midfield with Buchanan, Hippolyte and Barnard. Sessignon is actually, I'm, just, I'm saying that, Sessignon's down to 78% 70, match fitness. So, I'm going to bring Brewer in for Sessignon. He's on 87%. Brewer can do a job there. Um, stats are very basic. His physicals are okay, but let's just see if he can do the job. Okay, let's move into the game. 
top of the league now. We're three points clear. Still got a game in hand. This is a, the fixture on the weekend, so everybody's playing. A game in hand is coming up in the week, which we're looking forward to. Hopefully we can try and extend our lead at the top. And also in January, so we're looking for to bolster the squad with some more signings. At the moment, on the, our director of football is negotiating contracts. Notably, Buchanan has rejected a new deal at the moment because he's currently unhappy. I don't know why. OK, let's get back to the game. So Brewer looking for a ball up through the top. No, nothing's happening. OK, can we win the ball? Yep, yeah, Ford does well. They pick up the second ball. OK, Warsfold, what can he do with this? Looks for Hippolyte. Hippolyte, Buchanan, no, nothing at the moment. There's a good opportunity that they didn't take. Chelmsford are eight in the eighth in the league. We need to pick up a little bit here. They're actually dominating possession with their home team, which is disappointing so far. Had three shots with none on target at the moment. Need a performance here. We need to pick up three points, keep the pressure on. The teams behind us, Hereford and Billericay, to keep winning. In fact, Billericay are now losing away at Western Superman 2 0. That puts them further behind us if we can pick up a win. Bit of a non event this particular game so far, this first half, especially for us. Players again up front, the, the, the three up front are not playing very well at the moment, but that may be because they're starved of opportunities. Seven shots we've had with none on target so far. But you'll note thirteen dows in this in this half. Fifty six percent possession is not bad. Let's just see what we can do in the second half. We'll give it fifteen. Three hundred and seventy six at home today at the massive. Not very massive, but for what they are they're massive. Hippolyte picks the ball up, falls to Buchanan. Hatton, Barnard, Hippolyte, and he's there. Excellent move. Barnard and Hatton and Hippolyte looking to break open the Chelmsford defence. They do exactly that. Barnard inside to Hatton. Hatton, sorry, Barnard, Hatton to Barnard. Barnard to Hippolyte, puts him through. Hippolyte scores. That's the thing with this particular tactic, this plug and play tactic by Knapp. Um, you can have forwards that are not in the game and they'll come up with something at some point. The three up front seems to be working fantastically well this season. Okay, we've broken down their attack. Walsfold, Brown. Ball out wide to Brewer. Looking for Barnard. Hasn't got the pace to beat the defender. The defender makes a mistake. Hippolyte. And he's got his second. That's two assists for Barnard and two goals for Hippolyte. Defenders had a shocker, but we'll take that. Yeah, defender looks like he's got it all under control and then I don't know what he's doing there. Goalkeeper's not happy at all. Okay, so two early goals in this half has killed the game off, which is excellent for us. Buchanan's looking uninterested at the moment. Keane's picked up a knock. Oh, he's back on. That's no problem. But he's out of position. Ford on the cover. Back to Granger, gives the ball straight to their midfielder. They're looking to break on us. Can we deal with it? Oh, dear me. Should have done better there with that header. Okay, need to make a change. Keane is injured. What's his injury? Potential knee injury, so we need to bring him off. So Jamie Smith will come on for Keane. And I'm just going to swap Smith and Quarter around. Do we need to make any more changes? Let's have a look. Hatton's got another book in. I'm going to bring Hatton off again for Miller Rodney. Uh, just leave Miller Rodney there. I'm going to leave that for the time being. If Buchanan doesn't back his ideas up, and he looks uninterested. In fact, I'm going to bring him off. Anybody that looks uninterested in the game needs to come off. Evax Blake will take his position. We need to have a bit of a word with, with Buchanan after the game. Okay, Ebanks Blake's on as an advance forward. 55%, 10 shots, 2 on target and we've scored twice. Chelmsford are not looking 
to do much at the minute. They're not looking much. Well, here we go. I've put the kiss of death on that, haven't I? Green, Smith, Miller, Rodney. Well done. He wins his second ball. Can we deal with it? Oh, we've given away a penalty. Dear me, there must be about six, seven or eight penalties we've given away so far this season. Can Granger do anything? No. Stand still, doesn't even move. What is up with him? Chelmsford are back in the game. Be nice to keep a clean sheet once in a while. Goalkeeper. Surely he's got to do better than that. That is awful. Can we deal with the corner? Oh, Granger's made the save. He banks Blake. Holds the ball up, gives the ball away. Not ideal at all. Yeah, Warsfold at our left wing back position is having a, a bit of a shocking game. He's down to 65%, quarters down to 61. Batting down the hatches. For this remaining five minutes, can we hold on to a 2 1? Which would be a big, big result. In the grand scheme of things, it'll put a six clear, hopefully. Well, at least three points clear. No. Ugh, damn. There you go. Dominated the game. They have a set piece, which we can't deal with. The ball gets knocked down. And they score. Yeah. Goalkeeper's got no chance. Fortunately, this is what happens in games. We remain three points clear. So it looks as though Hereford's also drawing the game. Okay, so we've looks by the looks of things we've kept a three point lead which is good. Wasn't a good performance today. Any goals we should have killed that game off. How did Hereford get on today? Let's just have a look. Did they play? I don't even think they played. No, they didn't play, so that was in fact my was that my game in hand? Oh, never mind. Okay, so we're three points clear now. Uh, we've got a game in hand on Billy Ricky, that's who I was getting confused with, right? Okay, so yeah, so we're three points clear. Um, at the turn of the year, after 23 games, we've got 19 games to go. Um, things are looking good for us at the moment. We're 14 points clear, 15 clear, sorry, of Whitehawk in 8th. So if we can just keep building and, and keep winning games, we'll see the playoff place, hopefully in a couple of months' time. And then we can focus on the remaining months of the season to try and push to win the league. But that's today's episode for you. Two good games, a win and a point. Um, we're top of the league, things are on the up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>